Hey everyone, Juliana here. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we make a very Canadian recipe, butter tarts. If you're new here and you're always looking for delicious recipes, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. Butter tarts are for Canadians like brigadeiros are for Brazilians. If you never tried butter tarts before, I will show you how to make the best recipe ever. Butter tarts have a very buttery pastry shell. They are filled with a rich, semi-solid and creamy filling. They can also be made with raisins, pecans, walnuts or really any flavor we can think of. We will need 100 grams of sugar, 200 grams of butter, 4 yolks, 3 grams or half a teaspoon of salt and 300 grams of flour. Into your mixing bowl, using the pedal attachment, mix the butter and sugar at medium speed until fluffy. Add half of the yolk, mix at low speed until it breaks down. Add the other half, mix at low speed and then change it to medium speed to mix until well combined. Mix your flour and salt together and add them to the bowl. Once everything is in, mix on low speed just until well combined. Do not overmix it, it should be a sandy and buttery dough. Work the dough just until smooth over the table. Wrap it in plastic wrap and place into the fridge for one hour. You can also make the dough one day before to save you time. Now, for the filling, we will need 3 eggs, 100 grams of maple syrup, 100 grams of corn syrup, half teaspoon of salt or 3 grams, 100 grams of sugar, 1 teaspoon of vanilla paste or vanilla extract 62 grams of melted butter Melt the butter and let it cool down completely It can't be hot or we will end up cooking our eggs when mix it in Mix your eggs very well with the whisk Add all ingredients except for the butter and mix very well melted butter and mix very well until all combine it. Place into a container and set aside. Get the dough from the fridge and hold it over your cooking station or your table. Get your parchment paper the size you need for holding your dough. You use muffin pans for baking the tarts, large and small sizes. cookie cutters for cutting the shells. Hold the dough about 5 mm thick for the large tarts. If you have pieces left, it's ok, you can re-roll it. If the dough gets too soft, you can put it back into the fridge and re-roll it again. Do not re-roll more than 3 times, it can get over-mixed, the texture won't be buttery and crumbly. Once it's all rolled it out, cut round pieces using a cookie cutter. If you don't have a cookie cutter, you can use a ramekin or just a mug. Now 
Add the pieces and shape it into the pan. Make sure to mold it using the same thickness all over, about 5 mm. If you have some pieces not covered, just get mud dough and add it to get everything covered. Make sure to push down the edges to make everything even and easy to get it out after bake. Bring the tray to the fridge for 30 minutes or to the freezer for 20 minutes, until the dough is very hard again. At this time, heat the oven. For the small size, we're repeating all the same. Just change the thickness for 3 mm. Bring the tart shells from the fridge or freezer and fill them about 3 quarters. Mix the filling very well before using. Make sure to leave that gap. The filling will go over the top and come out if it's too full. I added some raisins and pecans. For 15 minutes, turn the tray and bake for 5 or 10 minutes more, or until the filling sets and the shells are golden brown. Take them out from the oven and let them cool down completely to the mold, about 40 minutes. Don't worry when you see the filling rise to the top when they done, it will come down nicely when they cool. Mold them very gentle from the tray. If you need to, use a paring knife to help over the top. The shells should be golden and lightly brown. Filling should be very creamy with a light dark color and not runny. Butter tarts are one of my favorites and are perfect for any event. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and now... Thank you so much for watching, now, but that's are for Canadian, like Brazilians are for Brigadeiros. <laughs>